Ugh. I lost my voice a little bit, guys, so you're gonna have to bear with me through this one. <laughs> One of my favorite releases each and every year, the Four Roses Limited Edition Small Batch Barrel Proof, the 2022 version. I wish I was able to try this before the end of uh, last year, but here we are. Couldn't get myself a bottle beforehand. So let's break it down, taste it, maybe compare it. That's all coming up next right here on the Mash and Drum. What's up, folks? I'm Jason C from The Mass and Drum. Welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe, and help grow the channel for 2023. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the Four Roses limited edition releases. The 2021 LE won my bourbon of the year, and I feel like these are always sneaky contenders each and every year. Everybody talks about BTAC, everybody talks about, you know, Pappy, everyone talks about birthday bourbon. Not a lot of people talk about this one, and I just don't understand why. Four Roses, who is owned by the Kieran Brewing Company, has been releasing these LEs, I think, since 2013, which was the 125th anniversary, I believe. And Brent Elliott, who is a native of Owensboro, Kentucky, became master distiller at Four Roses in September 2015, but has been involved in making a bunch of these LEs and premium bourbon since he began with the company in 2005 under the tutelage of legendary Al Young. All right, I'm going to get this poured, but before we do that, let's hear from today's video sponsor. It is Z-Biotics. All right, guys, they are back. Today's sponsor is Z-Biotics, the amazing probiotic I've been using behind the scenes for a while now. I've been talking about it. Uh, before I do my live streams, before I do live tastings, before I do barrel picks, uh, before I just wanna go out and have a good time, enjoy some drinks and still be productive the next day, how does it work? Z-Biotics was developed by some very smart scientists who knew the real problem is not dehydration, but a byproduct of alcohol, which is most responsible for rough mornings after you drink. Zbiotics produces an enzyme like the one your liver uses to break down this byproduct. Now, anytime I think I'm gonna have a few drinks, I take Zbiotics, and the next day I can wake up, get right back to work, make more content, and get right back into the gym, which is really important to me. All you do is drink one of these about an hour before you start drinking, and that's pretty much it. This was really helpful around the end of the year during the holidays, sharing a lot of whiskey with family and friends, doing a few tastings. Then sometimes you have a cocktail, maybe a little wine sneaks in there. Z-Biotics can help with all of that. You should still drink water to stay hydrated and get a good night's sleep as always, but Z-Biotics makes it that much easier to be productive the very next day. It's real science that works, no random plant extracts, no off the shelf ingredients, 100% money back guaranteed, no sugar added, all natural. Here's how you get it. So kick off the new year right, everybody, and go to zbiotics.com slash drum or scan the QR code on the screen right here and use code drum at checkout to get 15% off on your first order. That's right. Click the link below in the description or scan this handy QR code right here and use code drum to get 15% off on your first order. Thanks to Zbiotics for sponsoring this video and thanks to you for making the sponsors happen. Cheers. All right, so quickly, Four Roses uses two different mash pills. Oh man, that already smells good. <laughs> one of their mash bills includes 20% rye, the other one uses 35% rye, along with five different yeast strains. Do the math and they can create 10 unique bourbon recipes. Now the 2022 Four Roses Limited Edition is a blend of double digit aged bourbons using four of the 10 recipes that were blended together to make it. This includes a 20 year old bourbon from the OBSV recipe, a 15 year old OESK, a 14 year old OESF and a 14 year old OESV. It's non-chill filtered and bottled at 109 proof with an MSRP of about 180 bucks. About 14,100 bottles of these were released. All right, I tried this last week for the first time on my live stream, but these tend to change a lot with those high age bourbons in here. So let's see what happened. This is about my fourth pour, I think. This is absolute fruit bomb in the beginning. I mean, strawberry, raspberry, maybe a little cherry, but it is very, very fruit forward from the get-go. Lots of brown sugar. There's that four rosy, four roses-esque, like rye spice vibe I always get. And I think that's like that little thing that tends to keep people away from four roses here and there. Um, but I think the more people I talk to nowadays, I, I, I think they're, more often more uh, in love with uh, Four Roses than they used to be. 
That oak is there. It's like this underlying deep, rich, sweet oak presence, but man, it is fruit forward all on top. Very, very um, sweet, almost like a, like a pastry as well, like a burnt pastry. Oh, it's like a cherry, strawberry, like Danish on the nose. It's got like that, like that pastry around the, around the edges. It's got all that fruit filling in the middle. Then there's like this drizzle of just, oh, that vanilla icing. Oh my God. But yeah, uh, kind of when you get beyond that and really get into the nose, there is this, again, that rye spice. It becomes a little bit savory on the back end. Yeah, I'm getting, there's a little bit of like allspice and almost this herbal, like my spice cabinet, like a little bit of like a thyme or oregano or, you know, some of those spices as well. Fantastic nose. Let's try it. Wow, that, that pastry note I was talking about, all that fruit, the, the pastry, the vanilla icing, that just kind of, it's, it's like a big wave of that in the beginning, right on the front of the palate. Hits mid palate, then all that ultra age like oak steps in, but not to the point ever where it's overwhelming. And Four Roses for me, especially the limited editions, I never feel like it gets too far with the oak. And I think that's the beauty of what Brent Elliott blends. They never get too far to the point where you're like, ah, oh, this is a little bit too oaky for me. At least for my palate, I never feel like you get that. I feel like these are a lot sweeter, a little bit more balanced for sure. But man, this is very, very fruit forward. I think pretty different from last year. All right, so second sip. A little bit of a different experience. The sweetness, or the I should say, not the sweetness, but I should say the fruit forwardness of it. Takes a little bit more of a backseat all the baking spices now and the oak and that richness are here. The, the higher age bourbon notes in this bottle start coming to the forefront. Cinnamon, the oak, again, that herbal note that I'm getting. And I think some of the rye, that high rye mash bill that's in here is really, really interesting. And I'm, I'm loving it. I love the balance between that sweet and that spice, that underlying oak across the entire experience without overdoing it. But yeah, that second sip was a little bit different than the first. Let's see what the third one does. And then you have the third sip where it's just like this beautiful combination of first and second sips. <laughs> the fruit is, that dark fruit is there. The sweetness is there. And then all the ultra aged bourbon notes kind of come into the forefront here. This is as, as much as I would expect from Four Roses, maybe a little bit more when it comes to these limited editions. It's such a beautiful balance. It never gets too oaky, it never gets too sweet. That's why I love these so much. I mean, and, you know, you, do, you could talk about all the, the limited edition drops that come out at the end of the year. This is the one, this is the bottle that I have to chase every single year because I just feel like you don't, it's hard to get balance like this. And I feel like Four Roses does it just beautifully. You're looking at about 109 proof I think the spice helps kind of mask that a little bit, but in a blind, I don't know if this would have done very well, which is surprising because I'm not getting this over this overly, you know, big punch of oak either. But man, the allspice, the, the clove, these like savory notes on the back end of this that kind of bounces out the sweet up front with kind of that rye spice in the back kind of coming together with like that really nice layered oak in between. It's a beautiful pour. You know what, let's compare it to my bourbon of the year for 2022, the Heaven Hill 17, let's see how it does. This is a really good day right here, just saying. These two amazingly delicious bourbons in one video. Oh, wow. When you compare the two, the noses aren't as far as apart as I thought they were gonna be. I really thought the Four Roses sweetness was gonna really kind of come to the forefront, but the Heaven Hill, Okay, yeah, I could see the difference here. Those fruit flavors that we were talking about earlier, the strawberry, the, the Danish, <laughs> it's all it's all up front in the Four Roses. Whereas the Heaven Hill, it's definitely a little bit more oak and baking spice driven. There's some of that here, but it's hard to escape but it's hard to escape all those uh, those rich fruit forward flavors in the Four Roses. I don't really get that from Heaven Hill. Heaven Hill, I think you get a little bit of cherry, but this is the, the Four Roses has way more like raspberry and cherry and 
as we said, a little strawberry too. All right, let's try the Heaven Hill first. See, the Heaven Hill is sweet, but it's a different sweet. This takes you to a much darker place. You're looking at like rich brown sugars, like dense vanilla, dense oak, little bit of a dusty funk to it. This is beautiful. All right, let's try the Four Roses. So the Four Roses I think loses a little bit of its steam is on the finish. Uh, compared to this, on its own, this is delicious. Unbelievable finish, but yeah, the Heaven Hill is just kind of on another level. Um, all those rich, dark flavors that I was talking about on the palette, they come back on the on the, on the the finish almost equally that, than when you get on the palette, which is crazy. But the Four Roses 2022 has a sneaky, spicy finish. And it is, it's a lighter finish because it's only 109 proof compared to the 118 proof that the uh, Heaven Hill is. But yeah, it, I had a feeling this would have done pretty, pretty well for, uh, for 2022, but got a little bit too late, but still a fantastic release. Let's go to the final breakdown. All right, guys, final breakdown time for the Four Roses LE 2022. You're looking at $180 MSRP. Secondary market. I mean, when these first hit, they usually hit about 400 to 450 and they don't go too much higher than that if anything they drop over a little bit of time um even at stores and retailers um i think people do love to get these but i still think the demand for these aren't as high as you know buffalo trace stuff so secondary market value it's still not bad considering today's market and how prices have skyrocketed Availability, let's just say limited. It is a limited edition, but there was a lot of bottles of these and these do tend to hang around a little bit longer than most of your Buffalo Trace, BTAC, and all that other stuff. Uh, let's talk about value. Value for this one, 180 bucks for a blend of four roses that has two 14 years, a 15 year, and a 20 year old bourbon in the mix. I mean, when it comes to limited edition bourbons that release each and every year, I think this is probably one of the best values. So I'm gonna say above average. So what's the most I pay for this? Um, given I think it's an above average value, I'd be willing to pay a little bit more than retail to get this bottle, but that's me because I love Four Roses limited editions each and every year, and I really hunt them down. So for me, I'm willing to pay maybe up to 250 for this. Now it's already close to 200 at 180. I'm willing to go another you know 70 bucks to get this bottle because i know i'm gonna get a fantastic blend each and every year when it comes to alternatives there's there's some pretty easy alternatives i think here that stick out one of them for me is obviously the four roses private selects those tend to be anywhere from 9 to 11 maybe 12 years old if you're lucky but that's one singular recipe if you're looking for a real alternative to this one i would probably go towards the calumet 14, 15, 16. Those are blends of various barrels. It's a high age statement. It's a higher rye content. I'm not saying it's gonna get as close to this, but for an alternative, I think it could get pretty similar. They're baking spice forward. They're a little bit spicy. The 15 has a lot of cherry to it. Maybe not as bright and fruity as this is, but I think those Calumets could be a nice alternative to this as well. And the price is right. And is this a recommend? For me, absolutely. But I think this could be a polarizing one for a lot of folks because of how sweet it is and also that savoriness that it has on the back end of it. But it really just depends on what you like. If you tend to like Four Roses and those private selects, this is an absolutely easy pickup if you wanna seek it out or if you happen to run into one or if you go to a bar and wanna try it. Now, if you tend to stay away from Four Roses, this might be a little bit too much Four Roses for you because it's got, as fruity as it is up front, it's got a lot of that savory spiciness and that oak-driven, um, those oak-driven notes in the back end of it. But it is very sweet. It just, does the sweet outweigh some of those savory notes in the back end? If you're not a Four Roses fan, that might be a little bit too much. All right, guys, thanks for watching the review of the 2022 Four Roses LE. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Let me know if you guys have had this one, what you think of it. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. I'm going to enjoy the hell out of this one. Cheers, guys.